an appetite for me, Kim. Uh, what, what tasty treats do you have this morning? Oh, I've got a treat for you. If you're looking for something different to whip up for dessert tonight, how about caramelized <laughs> bananas? Chef David Bonderchuk from Scratch Catering Services is here to show us how to make this daybreak delight, and it smells really good. Yeah, and it's very, very simple. It comes together with just two ingredients. I can't wait to show you. First of all, do you know how to properly peel a banana? You know, my sister showed me. I know you do it from this end. I always yes. do it this end. But. Well, I, I didn't know this. I visited the Denver Zoo, and they literally were feeding bananas to the apes, and it, they were doing it what I thought was upside down, but actually, no, this is the proper way. This is actually where the seed is in the banana, and you just pinch and pull that out, and that is how you peel a banana. Anyway, on to caramelized <laughs> bananas, Kim. That was a little side note. Okay. So um, here I've got some uh, caramel, or excuse me, some granulated sugar. I would not use a fine sugar for this. I would definitely use the uh, granulated, just regular kitchen okay. sugar. And what I do is I just press the cut side. I, what I've done is I've sliced this in half and I just press the cut side right into there and place it right into the pan. Now, what, do you usually leave the peel on or take it off? Now, it depends on what you're going to use this for. If you're going to garnish a plate, like let's say you're serving a nice brunch uh -huh. and you want to put these on a plate as a garnish but also something that people can eat, I would leave the peels on. If you're going to be serving these atop waffles, cut them up and put them on top ice cream, go ahead and peel them like we just did, and then just do it like that in the pan. Okay. Now, if you wanted to make this, Kim, bananas foster, it's very similar, except we're going to add butter to the pan, and we're going to use brown sugar instead of the granulated sugar. Once you pull the um, bananas um, to the other side, do give them a flip a do. You're going to deglaze the pan with a non-spouse Barbados rum like Ooh. Mount Gay. So that is how you make bananas foster, but today it's all about caramelized bananas, and in that dish you also caramelize bananas. So before the segment, I started a banana here. Careful, the sugar's very hot, Ooh. and that is ready, Kim. Boom. And that's how I would garnish a plate for a nice brunch, um, right alongside some caramelized French toast. Remember we did that segment a couple weeks back? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And what you want to use for this is you want to use a little bit underripe ah. bananas. When they start turning brown, that means they're ripening. So you don't mm. want to use green, but you definitely want to use them when they're bright yellow like this, because see how they stay firm, and but yet like they're so sweet. There's like a little crunchy part on the edge where it's caramelized. That's it's the caramelized brulee bananas. Mm. It's a good thing. I love it so much. And you don't even need the butter for this, so no. I was shocked by that. Yeah, and so this is an, another alternative. Now, if you're doing Bananas Foster, you would go ahead and use the butter, but for this, it's a new year, everyone wants to cut back on the calories. You can still have a little bit of sugar, because all we're doing is dipping it right here in the sugar. I mean, you're not really doing all that much. I mean, that's probably, what, a half a teaspoon of sugar at most, and just setting it in the pan. So you're cutting back calories, but you're still getting something delicious. All right, and you know, <laughs> Chris Parente, he is a vegetarian, so this is all a up your alley, Chris. He will bring you have some over. <laughs> yeah, uh, everything that uh, he cooks is right <laughs> up my alley. I'll take it. How about some entertainment this morning? Following.